So we're now completely out of wood and there's only one iguana left on our map that we can hunt for food. Plus there's some insects to the northwest, but we don't really want to hunt those. And plus we're not going to have enough ammo to be able to shoot them from range. Some raiders delivered us 15 primitive ammo, which we can use to hunt. We are now making a bow and it was awful quality. I believe that's because of our random starting meme that lowers the quality of everything that we make by one. So despite Theodore's five crafting and his 98% chance to make something better than awful, it looks like he got the 34% poor roll, which was downgraded to awful. We actually had a little bit more food than I thought. That meal is not going to replenish Theodore's food meter by that much though. Since he's a tier 3 android, I think he needs to eat more. We have 31 pemmican that a Thrombonian visitor dropped for us in the last episode, but that's it. And we're going to have to kill this iguana, which doesn't have any manhunter chance, I think. And yeah, it has no manhunter chance as long as we don't hit it in melee. And actually, I think if we wait for it to sleep, there's a 100% chance for us to hit it. So we could conserve ammo that way. And I just found out we can actually make primitive ammo out of blocks. We're just going to make it out of marble blocks, I guess. So our ammo problem's not going to be a problem, basically. We could even kill the insects. We wanted to. We killed the iguana and we currently cannot make a butcher table because we need 20 wood. We're completely out of wood. And we did get enough lizard skin to make a bedroll though, which is really good. We're going to hope that Theodore does not botch. There's an 8% chance that he botches. And very nice he did not botch. So Sardine now can sleep in a bedroll. We'll give him the nicer room. Theodore, I don't think, cares about a nice room. Sardine's also got the greedy trait, so he really wants a nice bedroom. And the moods are actually pretty good overall. We do have some extra food. We will definitely survive to wave two. The question though is do we want to go out and hunt? We want to hunt these mega spiders and the spielpea that's on our map as well. They're currently guarding this 39 insect jelly. It would take a lot of effort to kill these things though because they're pretty tanky and we have a really crappy range weapon. It says the insects are currently dormant and that woke them up. Hopefully we can outrun them. I didn't actually check their movement speed. Looks like we can outrun them and okay they've awoken now. So I'm hoping that raiders will aggro on them. Oh wow, we got a exotic goods trader from the sacrilege hunters and we got the quest. So I guess that means we're on day five. Yeah, we're on day five. So I was actually just about to have Theodore leave on a caravan as well, but he has five social, so we should probably have him do the transaction with these guys. So if I look at their caravan, I'm getting a bug with Yeo animation and human alien race fix, and it's making things lag as long as I just move away from the caravan and don't look at it. The lag goes away. We can do the dialogue though, and let's just do the nice options that, you know, make friends with them. And I think they dropped us a shield belt. Plus we can also trade with them. It's an exotic goods trader. As for what they want, they will buy all these components and they do have some ducks that we could buy for food. We can kill the ducks if we need to, or we can have them lay duck eggs maybe. I was originally thinking we'd try to go to this coastal dune tile as from what I remember, there's quite a few animals on that biome, but since it's right next to our base, we cannot settle there. So we're gonna actually go over to this desert tile, which is flat, so it's easy to maneuver to. We were able to get over there in just a few hours. This biome is just a desert biome, not extreme desert. So there's quite a few more cactuses. These Seguro cactuses give us wood and these angel wing cactuses give us raw cactus. So the sacrilege trade caravan is leaving. Oh, and I think we found the culprit right here. This person has no body. That might be what's causing the lag. They are at war with this fleshmonger faction. So we're gonna summon it early. And for summoning early, I think that's when you get to choose the reward. Let's take this random normal level reward, I think. I'm feeling lucky. We got cash which is the normal reward that we would have gotten. I think it's 3k cash. These guys are coming in from the northeast, so they probably will run into these guys. There's one person causing a lag. I think that's what's going on here. And yeah, it looks like this is going to be a free raid for us. This guy got knocked out. Aphrodite's grace. God trait on this person. Uh, just zoom in a little bit more. There we go. They have a right blade arm as well. It's this demon at blade arm that's only 50% efficient but does quite a bit of damage and has a good amount of armor pen. About a day after the raid, Theodore is heading back home with this is everything that he got. There's actually quite a bit of food on the desert biome. There was still more that we could have grabbed but I wanted him to make it back home in a timely manner with this wood and the food because Sardine currently does have malnutrition. Oh man, it looks like... Holy freaking hell. The hell? He went berserk at not the right time. Just pull out the gun and just blast them a little bit, I guess. I was not ready for that. Just blast them. I don't even care if we kill him. He does have Aphrodite's Grace, a uh, god trait that increases armor. But uh, yeah, what the heck. This is not where we want to be fighting in these close quarters. Don't get hit, Sardine, please. Oh, no, no, no. No, go here. Go here. No. Oh my god. 
The sardine gets hit. Nice. Wow. Sardine also does have a heat stroke that I guess is capping out at 30% for some reason. It does not seem to want to get worse than that despite it being 100 degrees outside and his maximum comfortable temperature is only 86. I'm really going to hope we don't botch this butcher table. There's only 8% chance that we do because if we do, we'll have to make this out of mainly wood. And there we go. We didn't botch. We had to use 20 wood for that, but that's not so bad. Because of our meme sadist, I don't think people care if we butcher up bodies. We butchered human like negative three, so they do care, but that's all right. We butchered up both the raiders that died and I guess our need did not like that, but it gave us 80 human leather. We made a human leather tribal wear that gives 10 degrees insulation, which increased the sardine's comfortable temperature up to 97 from, I think it was like 86, and hopefully his heat stroke will start going down. So we have some visitors that have been here for a little bit, and I found out they are at war with the faction that's about to raid us. I'm thinking we just summon this raid early, and actually this guy is, we got a good combat animal drop. Let's take that. Five random tamed animals. We could butcher them for food too if we needed to. These guys are attacking from the north. They're coming in fast, I think. Um, everyone come inside, and we want to actually capture this dude. Arrest him. Oh no. Really copy. Crap. No, no, no. I didn't. What are you doing? It's a murderous hive manhunting animal. What? That's not fair. No, that's not fair. What the hell? Is that reward? Oh my freaking god. It's like bugged or something, I don't know. Get it? It's bugged? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say that qualifies for a reload. I don't think it's intended for one of the combat animals you get from the reward to be hostile. It does appear that doing that reload has incurred the wrath of the RNG gods as this guy is now the one eating at our table. These guys ate outside and we want to capture this dude and because he didn't come inside it's now gonna be a lot harder. We're gonna have to brawl it out with them but we did enslave Sabrizi who I decided just to enslave even though they are good at social and since we did enslave them they can't really do social stuff I don't think and you can't really give slaves weapons but since they have this right blade arm i think they will still be able to help us out in this situation it looks like shishido is getting pretty close i want to get him as far away from sakaguchi as i can because he's the only person i'm really worried about in terms of theodore safety because he's got a shield belt so great chipmunk's bow is not going to do anything to him and here we go they're leaving oh no you're not though jokes on you and run everyone just run sardine you can oh looks like we're gonna have to fight actually fight this dude Holy cow, he just two shot him. And the Great Shipmunk doesn't doesn't want any of that. Okay. Bushi party are fleeing. Wait, that was insane with his blade arm. How much damage was that? With I think that was two hits. He did 20 damage to his left leg, 29 to the right leg, almost cut it off, and then 20 to the left femur in just two hits. Well, I looked at the blade arm stats. It has a long cooldown, but does a ton of damage each hit. Oh, and also this dude's a cannibal, and I need to reinstall the cannibal meals mod. I'm gonna go do that right now, actually. So you can't really manage cannibals without that, I think. With that mod, we can now manage food restriction, make a new one, cannibal. And we can allow our new cannibal to only eat cannibal meals. The next raid is here, and I think we're going to take the wood. Could use the leather for better rolls, but we can also butcher people up for better rolls. And we should probably go out and grab that before the raiders get here. They're attacking from the south, and it looks like they're actually going to be here pretty soon, so maybe not. They're going to steal what they can and leave. There's no way they're going to steal the wood, right? Okay, cool. They're going for the silver, I would guess how to make a educated guess. So when these Rasts die, they're like the Druid faction, they turn into these corpse revenants that are not that hostile. People try to shoot at them and they'll flee from them, but they're not that hostile. Like they won't aggro on you, I don't think. So we're currently in the process of trying to move our base over to the mountain and we're eventually gonna tunnel towards these tunnels up here and we're gonna base inside this mountain. In the meantime though, we did get a wine merchant, which is pretty useless. I don't think we have anything that they want and vice versa. These guys are at war with the faction that's about to raid us though. And I was looking over all their stats. This guy, the main merchant dude is really good. Vulcan's fired the construction God trait increases construction ability by quite a bit and he's a builder which also increases construction speed and he's tough and Vulcan's fire gives him armor. If we could arrest this guy he does have a bunch of friends though that we'd have to fight potentially. Since they're hostile with these raiders though we could maybe use them as like some kind of distraction. Let's take the random normal one. Feeling lucky. Plasteel drop. Hey that's pretty good. The raiders are coming in from the south. We're gonna have to get out here to capture this dude and some of the dudes are aggroed on the raiders. Arrest. No. Oh my god. Okay get out here. Get out here to help. Oh god, he's getting beat up. Real bad. Freaking A. Holy hell. They're fleeing. Left hand was shattered. What the hell? They're all aggro on him. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting them to like go on the raiders kinda. Oh my god. I think that might have been worth either way. 
So I did a test run on this only because this mechanic is absolute BS in my opinion. Basically, if you arrest someone, you cannot interrupt the arresting process or if you do when you drop them, they're not actually arrested. You have to just let them go with it basically. It is kind of cheap too because our robot's hand did get shattered in the process. Like he just got absolutely beat down by these guys. And so now we're kind of aware as to like how this whole thing is going to go. Our reward was also kind of trash, but I guess we only get a 12% chance of getting a fourth reward now. Whereas before it was like a 50% chance. I guess this is our penalty for loading save and we only got three rewards to choose from pawn join though we'll always take pawn join and it's a thrumpkin very nice i don't even care if he sucks really he is a part of our id legion which is great very scientific we can finally start getting some research done dude's got a burning passion for intellectual he's really good like only thing that sucks about him is he doesn't like general labor but he'll be doing social or intellectual and okay so the way this whole thing is going to go down is we're actually going to let this guy kind of aggro on these dudes i don't really want him to go in though uh, this is gonna be rough. He did take some damage though. We can have our Thrumpkin arrest. There's no beds, freaking it. prisoners. Wait, this guy might actually be dead here in a second. Can we arrest him? And then just run? Can okay, we get out of there? Oh my god. Wait, this is so much better. Our robot keeps their hand. This guy got knocked out as well. Are they good? They're tough as well. And they have blitz, which is like a melee trade, I think. Okay, that was actually a way better result, which I do not care about the result there. Like, I would rather not reload ever, if at all possible, you know? But in my opinion, that whole thing was utter BS. And oh, this person has a mining pick, by the way. We could really use that as we expand the mountain. They have 20 hours left. These guys are just leaving, I guess. So let's have our slave go out and beat this person down. Yeah, we should be able to just one-shot this dude. Mock him. The blade arm. Oh, they hit us, but the armor... Come on, dude. Just freaking end him. I know you have the flu, you're feeling a little bit sick, but uh, just... Holy cow, you suck. Oh, we actually knocked this person out. They are an Iron Man. They have a lot of interesting traits, but we cut off a few of their body parts. I'm not really sure about it. We can just enslave them for their development points. So one thing that's really nice about this Thrumkin joining us is they join us as a part of our ID Legion. And since we have three people now following our ID Legion, we can now make someone our moral guide, which is going to double their conversion power. So we're going to be able to convert Pusneti really fast to our ID Legion. And then same with the Rosamon. They might actually be not that bad to just recruit because they actually join our ID Legion even slightly quicker with that increased global certainty loss factor as far as their stats they're not crazy good like they can mine full time though and we need to mine into the mountain iron man also lowers incoming damage they can shoot their stats don't really suck like they don't want artificial body parts which might be bad for a fighter they did lose some parts as well they need a new hand basically but yes yeah, so if we have comma do convert on Pusneti, their moral guide ability that can be done once every three days they lose a bunch of certainty in their ideology plus comma can convert as well making them lose another 14 percent certainty so this dude the warden class actually Actually, I didn't even notice that part with their class and they have abilities that lower incoming damage I think I'm pretty sure that's what earth and grit does they have ability resist like this person is gonna be the biggest meat shield tank type of deal we got 1.3 days till the next raid and I'm not sure how we're gonna deal with this probably just make some bone spike traps we're butchering up these dudes now who are giving us some bones and human leather and okay mad iguana i was worried that some of these guys are gonna start going berserk so i thought that might be that and by the way there was no animals on our map recently so i guess this just joined our map it's the only iguana currently on the map all three of these prisoners are potentially going to go berserk on us and crap the iguana is going for our ducks i think no 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 not the ducks Okay, it's not going for the babies at least. This dude only has three melee, so that's why his right blade arm isn't just like one-shotting this thing. It's hard for him to actually hit. There he goes. And yeah, we hatched three little ducklings. I'm not sure if it's worth it to keep these things around though. They are able to eat like these cactuses and there's some other plants that we're not able to do anything with. So it might be worth it to keep them around. It just does require a little micro. Alrighty, so the raid is now here. Yes, yeah, so these raiders were invisible for the first 30 seconds, but they're no longer invis. And they are beastmen, so they're a bit tankier. And they're going to run. Okay, cool. Pawn join. Don't really want another pawn necessarily. We're about to have a bunch of people join us as well. And we're kind of running out of food. So we're going to take the medicine. And oh, these guys delivered us some alcohol, which is nice. Pusneti actually needs alcohol. He's lush. We got a random events monster raid. And I'm wondering if this thing is going to actually give us the food that we need. Oh, yikes. We hit it a few times. Uh, keep running. I think we actually should be okay. We might not even have to melee it. Oh, and our duck. I screwed the ducks, dude, honestly. The amount of micro that I'm having to do right now. Took out all of our ducks, which they don't obviously do that much, but... Yeah, this is not the biome for ducks. Like, if you can just set them and forget them type of deal, then it's fine, but nah. 
we've hit this thing there we go finally i got a bug saying that i cannot make a new stockpile zone and i'm gonna make a risky play here which is delete our old stockpile zones i'm hoping we can remake them but i'm guessing we cannot I've never had this bug before oh god i have to reload i think i think i have to do the raid first though because if we reload then we're gonna get way lower chance of getting a fourth reward and i want a fourth reward we need more food so we're gonna fast forward quite a bit of extra micromanagement we got four traps built and we only have a 50 percent chance of getting the oh we got an excellent reward obtain a completely random excellent reward let's do that lab part drop that is completely useless for us right now forever really it's going to be useless like i do not anticipate when we're going to be able to use that let's make sure that these guys do not get in here and grab it though just in case all right here the raid comes i'm wondering if i should save before uh, i don't know like maybe we should summon the next raid right now and then after i summon the raid i should save then reload then try to fix this bug i'm getting with the stockpile zones because i feel like if i save and reload the chance to get a fourth reward is going to go way down but we could also just wait out these next three days and like convert these guys and we don't really need food right now like we could just eat the human meat and the insect meat that we got we got an arms dealer from the doom faction and they have some arms that they'll trade us Psychic Shock Lance could be interesting. You can knock someone out with it. And it has two charges. Praetor Helmet has a value of 346. I'm not sure about that one. I mean, it doesn't offer a crazy amount of protection. I think it was definitely nerfed, but it does provide some extra stats. I'm not sure why it's so cheap though. Some of this stuff has a price reduction. I'm not sure exactly why that is. If we wanted to be kind of cheap, we could buy these three Praetor Helmets and that's pretty much all we could afford and not buy the Psychic Shock Lance. It provides a lot of insulation against the heat. I'm going to do it just because this biome is really annoying me. We have some stuff Stuff they'll buy some of the musket maybe then we can buy some packets survival meals let's buy as many of these as we can they're cheaper for some reason i've never seen that mechanic before where it's green if i had a guess that's the stocks mod which is changing the price of stuff and yeah we're able to buy 26 meals plus three praetor helmets in this transaction we could even buy more meals if we want to sell them some medicine we'll sell them 10 of our 30 medicine and we'll get 34 meals okay we have three hours left to wave seven and possinity is finally going to join us and that means we're going to be able to start smoothing floors really fast plus we can start mining the mountain very quick as for the raid it's by a really easy faction the medieval faction and i built a door here i'm not sure if that's why they're going to go for these insects i'm really hoping they're going to go for this clutch mother though which is unconscious for some reason it has extreme blood loss i was not aware of that i guess it tried to hunt one of these mega spiders and it got injured too badly and it's now going to bleed out well when rosamond joined us and this dude hit a trap very nice i was not expecting to have to fight these guys none of them have abilities though and we could get posnity out here ah crap they made it into one of our dude's bedrooms. Posnity has a few abilities. Shield. Let's do that. Let's actually pull back a little bit. Uh, they're breaking our freaking bedroom. I hate that. It's alright though. Okay, Posnity, you tank and then you help melee. Um, shouldn't have to take too many of these guys out. And yeah, they destroyed pretty much all of Sardine's bedroom, which really sucks. He's greedy for an impressive bedroom that's gonna piss him off armor of the earth also gives damage reduction so we're gonna have pausing to use that and we should be able to just tank this dude i don't think the shield is broken yet yeah it's still up there we go it broke finally i'm not sure what else we could do here uh pull back pull back i don't know if ana's weapon could even break pausing armor that he's got Oh, and there we go, they're running. Nice. As for the reward, delayed next wave is very interesting. That would give us 10 days till the next wave, and we could go do some quests on the map, maybe. I think we should take that. One of them was 30 survival meals, which would have been nice, but we can go out, and there's some stuff to do on the map, I think. Like, there's a farming work site that's only guarded by two people down here. It's pretty far, though. There's a prisoner camp that's guarded by two turrets, one mortar, and two pirates. We could definitely do that. I've also never done this caravan adventures quest. We have to go visit their village, and I'm not sure what we have to do there, but we could send a couple people out to do those quests 